inflation continues to soar as Biden continues to weaken the nation. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Bottom Line for Sunday, February the 27th. What's up, everybody? And what a wild day week in the markets. Thursday and Friday's action was epic, which we'll get into in our market report. But uh, obviously, last week I said that from my sources, there would be no invasion of Russia in Ukraine, and I was wrong. Uh, they did go in this week. I'm not quite so sure of all the details of what's going on here. But I will say this, that the sanctions being put on are almost laughable, okay? Uh, freezing their assets, okay, well, they won't have a problem with their assets. Uh, but what they really have done is, since wheat, since, since Russia is the number three producer of wheat in the world, okay, uh, we may be visiting back to Marie Antoinette and let them eat cake because, you know, the the component is what is desperately needed globally, okay? Uh, and, of course, you've also taken away one of the key components in fertilizer for farmers, uh, which is also from Russia, okay? And the natural gas that, get, that flows into the UK. So, you know, I don't know, you know, when you fight a battle, you better know how to win. And I don't think that our current administration understands how to win. I would say to you that that uh, Biden is playing checkers, Putin is playing chess, and and Xi Jinping or G is playing advanced chess or ma- whatever masters, whatever the top is, because I believe you will see, and in fact I would suspect within thirty days or, or less, you will see China go into Taiwan. And that is not what we need because, of course, we are committed to defending Ta- to, Ta- to, to helping Taiwan. And, and if we have a, a problem in Russia and we have to deploy troops there and now we have to go to, uh, to, to Taiwan as well, yeah, I think it causes a much bigger issue. And I, I think uh, uh, Jing is going to, to go ahead and do this now. I, I don't think there's going to wait much longer. You know, this is part, it seemed to be part of their plan all along anyways. And this is slowly almost what we got, what kind of watched, you know, when Hong Kong switched over, we know that, that they were always, they've been owned by China or part of China for years. But of course, they were supposed to be able to keep their normal government and democracy. And that is now gone. Okay. So I think we are seeing the weakening of a nation and, and pretty much that is, you know, because of the inflation. That we are seeing here because of the, the destruction of the borders and allowing people to come in at, at with without having to basically check in. Uh, and you know, from from people that I know, I hear that uh, California, for example, had a surplus in budget, and that surplus is now going to be used to fund illegals. Okay, so I don't know about you, but to me, that there ain't there's something wrong with that picture. Okay. When we all have to follow the laws of the country, of course, we don't have laws anymore because we are a, we are, we are becoming now a, a nation of, of criminals and no police and let's steal whatever you can steal because we're not going to charge you anyways. Okay. So we've, we've had this development over the years from uh, sanctuary cities where, where, where illegals or criminals could go where they couldn't be prosecuted. Okay. And, and now, we have the, the them rushing in from the masses, and now we have you can steal from a store up to eight hundred or nine hundred dollars a day, okay, and not be put in jail nor charged with a crime, okay. At least that's the case in Chicago, and that is the case in Los Angeles, and I'm not sure how many other places are, but you know, law and order has seemed to have left the building and disappeared, and uh, as we look at the at the issues that that continue. To, to, we, to see, and we, we dive right into the number one issue, which is inflation, okay? Now, the sadness of the inflation is that it's for no reason, okay? The sadness of what we see here is that we should not have to be paying these, this, this, these ridiculous prices. The green energy is silly, 
Okay, and I am going to, that will be part of my commentary today if you want to hear, because I had a long, extensive conversation with a biochemist. Okay, but either way, whether or not we are seeing uh, pollution and, and climate control and global warming, uh, John Kerry continues to fly around the globe in his private jet. So you, you have to ask, you have to give me that answer to that question. What the hell is he doing? Okay. But as you, as you look at it and we say, okay, at what cost do you want to just destroy Americans? Okay. The supply chain has totally broken down. In fact, you know, as, as many of you know, I don't grocery shop often, but I had, I, because I'm in Vegas right now and I have to go fend for myself. Uh, I, the last few times I've gone to my local supermarket, which is a big chain, they continue to have more and more empty shelves. I sat back and talked to a manager and asked. They said they can't get goods. And then I ran to a vendor in the parking lot and they said they can't get goods. Well, of course, it's all directly correlated to this administration's ridiculous moronic policies, number one. Number two, it's re- it reflects on cost because we are our costs are exploding through the moon because we refuse to allow the uh, pr- the production of shale and fracking of oil, uh, even though we have over a 300-year supply at current usage without having a major effect on the environment. But yet we continue to follow the same idiotic rules of, of what we're trying to do when Americans are getting destroyed. Okay. So now if, if China does go into Taiwan, okay, and we're already weakened and we're dealing with Russia, what do you think is going to happen? Okay. This goes back to the hundred year plan that China has and this country, we think in, in years, right? And not, we think in election cycles, which we have one coming up. And the only brightness out of this potential, and I have no idea if this is true or not, but I did hear that there was going to be a vote brought to the floor to uh, overrule or to take over and start to reproduce uh, shale and, and fracking oil here. Uh, now, it'll be interesting to see, A, if it's correct that the bill is going to the floor, number one. Number two, it'll be interesting to see what the moderates, Democrats do, because I know it's being brought by a Republican. It'll be interesting to see what the moderates do because, again, we're going into an election cycle, which they're already a big favorite to get creamed on. So it'll be an interesting week for sure, to say the least. Uh, but, you know, again, freeze Putin's assets like like they like you don't think he has enough that he's going to worry about what they froze here. When you hold the upper hand in a battle, OK, which I, be- I believe that he does, OK, uh, you know, because you can go back to those components we talked about. I don't know what you're doing, and I don't. Th- and I personally don't believe that this administration has is, it has any clue as well. Okay, but we seeing again signs that that prices are going to continue to rise. So the re- inflation that they report, which is a laughable, okay, uh, is about three times what the reporting, which is like I say we're at about the twenty percent level. Okay, and it's only going higher. The the cost of production for food is going higher. Okay. The cost of production for everything that we do is going higher. Okay. Partially because of oil, partially because of supply. You can name a million reasons why it's going to get out of control, which again could be all solved very simply by, by resuming your own fracking. And actually we could actually profit from that and maybe pay off some of this ridiculous debt that we have accumulated. And again, look, I don't blame. President Biden for the $30 trillion, because again, we know one thing for sure. The bigger the number, the faster it multiplies. Okay. And every president in, in my lifetime has added to that national debt, which is a, a, a criminal in its own right, because we've talked about this many times before. We should have, they should have to live by a budget like Americans, like people have to live by. Okay. But they don't. So, hey, what can I tell you? But now we've got, you know, the, the f- fastest pace of inflation is in 1983. And what happened right before 1983? Do you, ever, do you remember? Do you remember the name President Carter? <laughs> do you remember the interest rates? Do you remember stagflation? Well, guess what? You're probably looking into that environment once again. Okay. Now, again, I, I don't want to see that happen. I, I don't want to see this country in trouble, but it, it, I don't see how we can avoid it if we continue at the current pace, okay? I mean, it, it is a, 
it is a silly pro- process of what we're seeing and to basically almost declare war on Russia because they attacked Ukraine. And again, I'm not quite so sure, you know, the details are still very sketchy of this whole thing. And what if it was a almost a a plant? Again, I'm not saying it was. I don't, again, I, I will always tell you if I, what my opinion versus if it's fact. I have no idea. But it always seemed quite funny at the way this whole thing went down. Very similar to what I said about COVID, which has been, of course, magically cured all of a sudden. Amazing how it was cured eight, eight months before the election. But now Target ends their masking requirements, uh, both employees and uh, uh, customers. So that's uh, just another sign that they're, you know, I don't know. I, I think the airlines uh, evaluate this, I believe, on March 18th, if I have my date correct. Uh, but again, these are things that's how did magically we suddenly get away from that? And, and what happened to Dr. Fauci? Did he go the same way of, of Waldo? Where's Waldo? Okay. Uh, but, you know, we don't need to have a war. We certainly don't need to have China going to Taiwan, which I believe that they will. And, and I think that, uh, uh, when you look at the p- p- potential sanctions, I, th- I think it's a mistake as well. I don't think sanctions work anyways. I, I think that that, you know, unless you have a president, as you did when you had President Trump, that will stand behind it and out of those, I don't think sanctions help you. Okay. I think, you, again, I believe that this administration, all of them, has weakened this nation. And I think now you ha- also have the next problem or the next man up. And now you've got, you know, the unionizing at our, at, at many Starbucks now. I know, I guess a second or third one is going to be done this week or start this week. Again, you may not think that it's anything on the surface, but it's just another way that you're going to have to pay more for goods and services. And I, I think the statement made by President Biden was, this is almost laughable. This is almost below a second grader. Greedy corporations are causing inflation. Okay. Now, I ask you, okay, greedy corporations, are they not entitled to make a profit? Should and corporations cut their prices and cut their profit margins because we do not want to create our own natural resource of oil and natural gas. Okay, should a should a corporation beg into the government when we when they pay ridiculous taxes on top of everything else? Okay, so should, are we are we totally done with capitalism in this country? Okay, so. Are the corporations greedy? You know, if you if you remember, for years we have talked about on these airwaves, okay, about the price discovery model. Okay, if the prices are too high, then maybe the maybe the customer shouldn't pay for it. But isn't it more likely that because of all the taxes that we pay, not only at, at the federal and state level, depending on where we live and what state. But when you're talking about going to the, the, the pump, and I understand, again, I don't have this a 100% fact, but I understand in California, it's $1.78 a gallon of tax, okay? I know in Cook County in Chicago, it's over a dollar in tax, okay? Now, if you take that and you multiply any rise or raise in the price, it automatically pushes the numbers up higher because of the percentage basis of oil, okay? So... I ask you, is, 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 are they right or are they wrong? I mean, I can't imagine anybody could think that this administration is, is correct at the way they're handling any of this, which is, is creating a much, the, the much bigger problems that we will never be able to get away from until we take care of business. Okay. See, this is, this is the issue. Like, the corporations aren't greedy. They're making a profit. Okay. I mean, listen, when you have Amazon in play, Okay, they have to be the cheapest and and the best in the business. Why? Because they've got to deliver, and that's how they built their entire business. Okay, they're pretty much almost the best value on any product when you go to Amazon. Okay, so again, I don't think that the corporations are greed at all. Okay, and certainly you have choices of where you can shop if you don't like the company that you're doing business with. So, look, I, I believe that this is a bunch of nonsense. I believe it's a bunch of bullshit, and I'm sick and tired of hearing this administration complain about the things that they have control of without very much, without even sweating 
they have control, but they are so hell bent on this green energy policy, which is ridiculous in its own right, which we've talked about many times, that they are going to destroy the middle class. If they, if something doesn't happen soon, you will see just another destruction of the middle class and Americans. We'll be right back with more of Bubba's Bottom Line here on Sunday, February the 27th. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard. I'm glad you're here. And of course, obviously, uh, pretty tough week, uh, but uh, we'll, we'll get through it as we always do. Uh, but I want to remind you to check out our sponsors when you get a chance. And of course, we're scrolling on the bottom, but also I'll just give them to you real quick too. And it's, a, of course, Capital Trading Group, uh, CTG. You know, th- those are the only ones I could authorize for letter of direction trading. They trade all my accounts. Okay, they have great new products of their own that are performing very well as well in, 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 at the same time. And again, they're the best customer service you could ever ask for in this industry. Okay, check them out. Info.capitaltradinggroup.com forward slash Bubba. That's info.capitaltradinggroup.com forward slash Bubba. And of course, Trader, Trader Brokerage. What, what an organization they are. Okay, uh, I mean, you know, listen, first of all, it's $10 a month. Okay, and t- I mean, how can you beat that? Okay. I mean, you're saving a fortune. I save, I save over six figures a year on commission using them. Okay. Uh, they're, they're hungry to work with you and to make it right. If you're one of our, and our, one of our models, either hedging or, or equity portfolios, the equity portfolios are free auto, 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 auto automation. Okay. And execution through trader for your $10 a month fee. Uh, no other fee other than your membership fee with me, which is you already paid. And of course, our hedging has a licensing fee, but it also can be automated through Trader and still at $10 a month. Okay. So, wh- you know, why you wouldn't go with them, I have no idea, but hey, that's up to you. Uh, but it, check them out, try.trader.com forward slash Bubba. That's try.trader.com forward slash Bubba. And obviously, in these little bit of a turbulent times, you may be looking towards the gold and silver and platinum and some of the other precious metals. Uh, listen, I'll tell you where I do all my shopping, and that is strategic wealth preservation. Okay, check them out, swpcayman.com forward slash Bubba Dash Trading. That's swpcayman.com forward slash Bubba Dash Trading. Of course, our high school program at patreon.com forward slash Bubba Trading. That's patreon.com forward slash Bubba Trading. In the meantime, let's get back to Bubba's bottom line and our market report and what a report we got for you today. Welcome back. It is Bubba's bottom line, it is Sunday, February the 27th. And of course, what a week for the markets. Whee! My goodness gracious. You know, the, the, the last 24 hours of the week were a debacle. Okay. It was ugly for me, for my members. Uh, we went from uh, huge, gigantic winners to losers all within from, from the early morning. Actually, 36 hours would be the right number. From the early morning of Thursday to the, the, the close on Friday, what a, what a turnaround, and it was epic, okay? The markets you saw, I don't know that I've seen in, in total the, the entire action that we saw, okay? I've seen moves like this before, but I don't think I've seen them all at one time. And if you looked across the board, you had the equities under heavy pressure that are already under pressure and going lower. That all reversed and and may had significant moves. Now again, when you look at it percentage wise, it wasn't that big, but it was like ten percent from the low of Thursday. Okay, but you had gold that was up almost to nineteen ninety, collapsed and closed back below nineteen hundred, a hundred dollars swing back. Silver was almost twenty six, closed back around twenty four. Platinum was over eleven hundred, closed back down. The grain markets got hammered on Friday after. Actually, Thursday they started, they were up huge in the morning and then got creamed from the lost their gains and were just closed lower on Thursday. And, and, down, and wheat was down limit on Friday. Okay. And corn and beans were also get, got pummeled. Okay. But interesting enough, corn was up for the week <laughs> and so was wheat. But, uh, in the meantime, I'll give you my position here shortly. And the bond markets, the bond market was up almost three full points on Thursday and reversed and t- turned negative. Okay. And there's more, but I mean, isn't that enough? So it was the, the action was epic when you, when you look at it. And again, it is what it is, but the trends did not really change. I mean, but it was interesting to watch and, and, and kind of angering when you, when you look at, you know, how much money you were making and then suddenly it reverses on you. But hey, that's, that is trading that is in the market, right? In the meantime, uh, so for last week, the, the, the major indices were flat 
to slightly lower, slightly higher. Okay. You know, across the board, uh, we remain short. All the indices, so obviously that's why the, the, the Jurassic, Jurassic turnaround was ugly for us. But again, we remain short, and again, there, the, the reversals are right now far away. All right, I think you have, you know, if you remember, as I talked to you about all the time, is you have the biggest, nastiest rallies, okay? We call them the rip-your-face-off, dead-cat bounce uh, rally short squeeze. I think that's what you saw. I, I, would, I would think, and especially if we open higher tonight, if we open higher tonight, I'll be selling. Okay. I'm already short, but I'll sell more if we open higher tonight. But in the meantime, we'll see what it looks like. Uh, you know, again, I think we're going a lot lower. And I do believe that the, the haircut, if this is, if this is going to be the new downtrend. Okay. And the, the correction that we've been looking for, I'm thinking we're going down 50 to 60%. But we'll see. Again, I don't make predictions. I'm just telling you what I think. Okay. But I'm hedged anyway. So very, very pleasantly happy there. And as I mentioned, gold was slightly lower for the week, okay? Platinum was slightly higher for the week, as so was silver was flat, but the dramatic moves as they looked to be breaking out, running to new levels, was was inter- amazing. It was really interesting to watch, okay? In the meantime, we remain long gold and silver. We would be long platinum with the exception that we can't trade it because it's not liquid enough, okay? Copper was slightly lower for the week, and of course, we're still uh, a long copper. Uh, natural gas was, you know, flattish for the week. We're long natural gas. Crude had a wild week. That was the other one I didn't tell you about. Crude was up over a hundred dollars a barrel. Okay. Oh, uh, like 101 and actually closed lower on the day or got, got lower on the day. I think it came back and closed a little bit higher, but actually got lower on Thursday as well, which again, you're talking about a 10% move in crude oil, you know, on, on a market that was spiking higher. But of course, we think that everybody believes that because President Biden said he's going to open up the SPR, the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, the last time he opened it up, he gave the oil to, to uh, China and India. Okay. Again, this is, this is like, and, and, it, and it, even if he does open it, it's like putting, a, it's like putting a band aid where a tourniquet is required. Okay. So even the, the temporary reaction is, is nothing and oil should go significantly higher. And I think that it has an outstanding chance to still make all-time new highs. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, uh, bonds and notes were, you know, lower again. And listen, interest rates are going higher. And you're seeing this mad dash and this mad rush for in- to get mortgages, which made it virtually impossible for me to buy a house. Now, for me to offer full price in a house, in any case, would take an act of Congress. Okay. I, I bid on five different houses. I finally got one. Okay, because I wouldn't pay more over a list, but and I couldn't sell my own house. So it, it's been a an interesting time. Okay, uh, in, in in many of the markets, but as so as, and as we continue to look on, and of course the grain markets were, as I said, I mean with the big disaster fr- Thursday Friday, c- corn was still higher for the week, soybeans were slightly lower for the week, and wheat was higher for the week. Okay, but even with the down limit day on Friday. Okay, in the meantime. We're long corn, long beans, short wheat. Okay. We're actually, we're not short wheat yet. We'll be short to either tonight or tomorrow, depending on how you trade or when you want to trade it. Okay. Uh, and then as, of course, as we look into, uh, the meats, uh, c- cattle, fats and feeders, feeders have reversed and are now going to be short tomorrow. They don't open till tomorrow morning. Uh, but again, the action is, was okay. But as I was concerned about the first big move is when people will stop you know, with buying beef because, of course, more expensive. So you could see hogs, but hogs also seem to be in trouble and we're reversing hogs as well. So, you know, again, it, it's it's an interesting times right now with everything that's going on because the costs are going so dramatically higher and, you know, now you're starting to see some selling pressure. So I believe this is all an overreaction, but again, the trend is the trend. And uh, as we look into the softs, cotton will be reversing tonight or tomorrow as well. Uh, it's, but it's, I'm certainly reversing up at 120, right? Not at the, you know, not at 47 cents where it was a year ago. Okay. Uh, and coffee, we reversed when we're still short and, uh, uh, sugar, cocoa and OJ were short those as well. So you have seen a little bit of a dramatic turn in the, in the softs commodities after having those big rallies. Now, again, I think they'll be back. I think this is, again, this is like a temporary because of some nonsense and rhetoric that we're seeing. And of course, Bitcoin, Pretty much flat, uh, but I think you're going to see Bitcoin have a much bigger drive higher now as well. 
Uh, you know, but we're kind of stuck in that range. But look for it. I would look for it to move much higher. And especially now that the SEC is a going to securitize some of the uh, uh, the crypto space, which then makes them unsecured, uh, uh, unregistered securities, which will cause heartburn for many, not the big ones. And of course, now the SEC also wants to to put their their finger on. Well, maybe we need more information from short sellers. And I say, why? What's why can't the free market trade? Why can't asset classes price themselves? If they're going to short sell, they have to still find a buyer. But again, that's for another day. In the meantime, this is Bubba's Bottom Line. It is Sunday, February the 27th. We're going to stop there for a break, and we'll be back with my commentary. No football, but my commentary. We'll be right back after the break. Bubba's Bottom Line. Well, everybody, again, just a reminder, you know, check out my sponsors. Do me do, do me a solid. Uh, you know, again, th- th- they're, they're the ones who help me a lot to do this show every day. You know, the updates daily and the weekend Bubba's Bottom Line. And if you like it, please, you know, just check them out. You know, just give them a, a, a peek. You know, again, I wouldn't, everybody that I use as a sponsor, I have A, personally vetted and B, use them myself. So certainly, please check them out. And again, you can see them scrolling along the bottom, but it's, you know, it's Capital Trading Group, Trade Your Brokerage, and Strategic Wealth Preservation. And of course, let's get back to Bubba's Bottom Line with me, your host, Todd Bob Horowitz, and my commentary. Welcome back. It is Bubba's Bottom Line. It is Sunday, February the 27th. And of course, as always, I have something to say. As you know, I have an opinion or a bitch about something. Okay. And my, my bitches and opinions are only, are only to help Americans. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a red-blooded, you know, American. I bleed red, white, and blue, baby. Uh, but, you know, so I'm sitting in a bar the other night and a, a biochemist walks over. He says, I know you. I said, what do you mean you know me? Okay. And I didn't know he was a biochemist. And he goes, you're on Varney. I said, well, I used to be on Varney until I got kicked off for telling him he was wrong about high frequency trading and yelled at him on air. Goes, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. I said, oh, yeah. He says, and he's introduced himself. And he was an older retired gentleman and he was a biochemist and he went through the the uh, the global warming, which he called the hoax. Now again, I'm I don't know factual. And again, please don't take this as the gospel. But it's interesting. And I asked him directly how. So if if you're correct, why won't anybody else speak up? He says, well, they're either too afraid or it affects their budget. Or they don't get money. And I go, and he told me about the vortex and how to check it out, and that you can see the graphs of the thing. He said the whole thing is 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 ridiculous. Okay, because you, when the, with the ever growing population, the use of energy and fossil fuels until you stop using coal in other parts of the world and other things, you're going to have issues. But it's not going to do anything different than it has done, uh, you know, about every eighty thousand years. And and oh, I guess in history, and I I didn't know this, but over every eighty thousand years, we've had an ice age. And again, I don't know that that's going to happen. Again, I'm just I'm sharing. And information which made sense to me because I think that, that the global warming is a, is a scam and a hoax anyways. Okay. I mean, I never believed it to begin with. Okay. I think it is, it is BS. And, and I, I listen, that's why I say I can, you, you can disagree. Not a problem. Okay. Listen, I don't, you, everybody's entitled to their opinion on my show and in my world, everybody can speak and voice their opinion. Okay. And I will answer you if you respond. Okay. But again, I do not believe in global warming. I do not believe in what's, what they say is going on. And I do believe that if you want to try to get to a greener environment, you can, but you cannot do it all at once. And what you've done is you've weakened the nation with the moronic tactics that we have seen and add to that the imbeciles of the Federal Reserve and you got a mess. In the meantime, we do have coming up starting this week some some basketball tournaments getting ready for March Madness, and we will give you next week our selections to win it all for March Madness. This is Bubba's Bottom Line. It is Sunday, February twenty seventh. Have a great week, everybody. As always, I appreciate your time and your comments, and thank you so much. We'll see you back here, of course, tomorrow with our daily update, and of course next Sunday with another Bubba's Bottom Line. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you later.